What's up everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be learning all about shapes. Now for those of you who are coming from an SFML 1.6 background, drawing shapes are a bit different but uh, don't be concerned. Uh, so in SFML 1.6, there was a rectangle shape, there was a, there was a circle, you could draw lines, uh, so on and so forth. And what you'd have to do is you'd call SF shape, and you name the shape, or whatever you want to call it. And you'd say SF shape rectangle, and then within the constructor, you'd put all the necessary values in there. Right now... Uh, the SF shape is an abstract base class, which means that you can't make an instance of SF shape. So what you have to do is directly state what type of shape you actually want to draw. So let's start with a rectangle. So we have to make a call to rectangle shape. And we name it what we want. Now in the constructor, we have uh, we have two different constructors. We can put in a, an, another rectangle shape that we've created or we can uh, set a size for it. The default size they set for it is zero, zero. So let's, let's just uh, make a different size, or a vector 2f, and let's just uh, set the 10 by 10. So it's 10 spaces wide, 10 spaces long. Now, just the way we draw the our textures, we draw it the same way. So we call window.draw, and we draw a rectangle. Okay, so now let's see what we got. So now we got a white square in the top corner of the screen, okay? And uh, so these are just the basic things that we can modify in the parameters. We can modify a whole bunch of different things uh, in, in some separate methods. So if we say set, we can set a fill color for it. So let's set that to a certain color. Now it makes a call to SF color. Now I never really talked about SF color, so let me get into talking about the color quickly. So we can, if we call SF color and we put two other colons, they have a lot of predefined colors that they have here. But uh, what if we don't want these predefined colors? So we want to make our own colors. If you look at the RGB color scale, uh, we can, or the RGB, I think they have RGBA color scale, yeah. So this means that uh, we can put in a value between 0 and 255. The larger the number, the larger the intensity. So if I put red, 255 red intensity, zero, uh, 0 green intensity, 0 blue intensity, and uh, let's say 255 for the alpha. So that means it's going to show a, a red filled rectangle. And as we can see, the rectangle is filled in red. Now let's see if we modify the alpha and put in half the alpha. Let's put 127. As you can see, it's kind of like faded out because that the alpha represents the transparency of the actual object itself. And let's say we want to make it magenta. We can mix and match colors together. As you can see, we got a magenta, a faded out magenta-ish rectangle. So there's other things that we can modify as well. And let me just get rid of this. I'm just going to put SF color and I'm just going to put blue for now. Okay. So we can uh, set, if we just put set and we use IntelliSense, we can see all different set functions we can use. So we can set an outline color. So let's just set this to SF color red. Okay. Now let's run this. And as we can see, we don't actually see the out, the red outline. Why don't we see the red outline? Because the outline thickness is not set to anything. So what we have to do is set an outline thickness. And it doesn't matter which order you put it in, right? But let's just set the uh, thickness to 2.0. And let's see what we get. So now we have an outline a thickness of 2. Okay, now say we don't want it to start off at the position that we set it at. We can make a call to set position. I'll uh, set it to position 100, 100, or we could put a, a vector 2f. 
And as we can see, we got a red outline bo a box and a blue uh, blue box, a blue filled box in between. Okay? And let's see what other things we can do with this. So we can uh, call set. We can set a rotation for it. We can set a scale so we can scale it. Uh, for the set size, we can set a new size for the rectangle, and there's we can set a texture. So we can apply a texture within the bounds of our actual shape, which is a cool feature uh, that I believe they took from um, OpenGL. So we still have our texture loaded. So what I'm going to do is apply player image to it. Set texture. Oh, not player image. Uh, P texture. Uh, not sure why that's not working. To set a P texture and unless they're looking for this, no. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's probably because it needs to be constant. Oh yeah, so we make a reference to our player's texture. Sorry for that. So we make a reference to the texture and uh, we should be able to see it. So hold on a second. Let's just make this a bit larger. So let's set it to 100 or 200 by 100. So as we can see, our player image is within the bounds of our rectangle and it's tinted in the color that we set the fill to so we got our whole sprite sheet in there so if you wanted to say you wanted to have uh, say you had a picture that uh, had like bricks or a brick for a brick for a brick wall or something and you wanted to draw a whole row of, of bricks or whatever what you could do is draw a whole rectangle right and then you could just display all the bricks Right, you can um, display an image of the bricks inside that rectangle, and voila, you got a brick wall. So you can apply a whole texture uh, within a rectangle if you so feel that you need to do. Okay, so that's it for the rectangle shape, and I'm just gonna show you uh, the different other the other different shapes you can work with. So if you go to circle shape, and we put uh, let me just name it rect, even though. It's a circle, but just so we don't have to change the window dot draw. So by default, let's hit the radius to zero and the point count to thirty. Now the point count, what the point count means is that uh, it, everything in when when you're working with like say graphics or three D graphics or something like that, uh, all shapes are drawn with a bunch of triangles, even circles, rectangles, everything. Every shape is drawn with a bunch of triangles. So this is letting us uh, specify how much triangles we're going to be using to actually draw it. The more triangles, the clearer or more precise it is, but it will in turn be slower. The less rectangle, the less triangles you do, the less it's good, the more pixelated it's going to be. So let me show you an example. I'm going to set the radius to five and I'm going to put uh, one triangle or let me put two. And let's try to draw this. As we can see, we don't even see anything there. So let's see. Let's try putting in. Let's try putting in 30, which is the default. As we can see, we got a full uh, circle. So uh, we never defined uh, un enough triangles to actually draw. But let's let's put a hundred. Let's see if that will make it more defined. It might make it more defined if we actually draw it a larger, but uh, the circle itself is just drawing a bunch of triangles, so the more you put, the, the finer it gets, right? Uh, so now that we, we got that set, we can do a bunch of stuff with it. So we can say uh, set, uh, we can set the outline thickness, and we can set the outline color. We set the position like we did before. We can set a, ra uh, a radius, the rotation. 
Uh, we can set uh, all the things that we did, uh, and we can still set a texture and every single thing that we did uh, with the rectangle shape. The last shape I want to show you before I end this tutorial is a convex shape. Now, a convex shape is uh, when you create uh, your own shape, right? And for the point count, this will let us know how many points you actually want to create. And it's going to draw it in the order in which you draw it and in, in which you uh, actually draw the shape or which you set the points. So if I say set point, so which point we're actually setting and the point like where we're actually drawing it to. So I'm going to draw this at position 10, 10 and should be vector 2F. And then we're going to set the second point. at 0 SF vector 2 F and we'll set this at uh, we'll set this at 15 15 and we'll set this point at oh this should be 1 right here sorry so we'll set the third point at SF vector 2 F at point uh, 20 10 okay and let's just set a color, set uh, outline color, and we'll set it to red. Oh, it doesn't even, sh oh yeah, we never set the outline thickness. But as you can see, we it drew it in the exact order that we specified it, and we actually got a triangle uh, drawn to the screen. So, uh, that is that's all I'm gonna do for this tutorial uh, that is that is it and one more thing that I, I want to specify I think I already specified it earlier but if you want to do the same thing with sprites you can you can still move it and do different things that you can do with them because both of them inherit from the SF trans transformable class which allows you to rotate or uh, move it and uh, do a bunch of stuff with it so that's the first tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and